What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Getting a couple videos out before the weekend's over. Just take a look at my right arm on Ash, man. Look at that new clan logo. It looks crispy. I love it so much more than our old logo. Speaking of logos or emblems, we do have an alliance emblem on the way. We do have a very small alliance going on and hopefully over time that thing grows and grows and uh, we just have one big community surrounding all this. It's a good thing to represent something that uh, you know, you've put a lot of time and effort into and uh, you're surrounded by people who also have that same motivation. And also, in case you missed it, we did recently drop a Mass Effect inspired, uh, Mass Effect 2, I should say, inspired Afterlife Dojo Showcase. Uh, that's the last video that we uploaded before this one. But if you're a Mass Effect fan, definitely go and check that video out. But if you clicked on this video, that means one of two things. Either you're curious about Planes of Eidolon Thumpers or you're curious about how to get set mods such as the auger set the vigilante set some of the gladiator set mods so without further ado let's get into the video if you enjoyed this content or if this video helped you please like and subscribe down below we're growing so quick this week dude we're almost at 700 and i swear the last time i looked at that sub count we were at 600 proud of y'all man i'm proud of me glad these videos are helping y'all out continue to support your boy let's get back into the video so in case you're wondering about what the auger set is here's a couple of examples auger secrets a really popular mod gives you plus 24 percent ability strength and the more of the auger set that you use at any given time you will increase that bottom stat which says 40 percent energy spent on abilities is converted to shield so what this is pretty much saying is when you use abilities 40 percent of that energy that you used is going to go into your shields so it's kind of like shield gating on demand if you play your cards right auger seeker plus 30 percent status duration Augur Accord plus 180% shield capacity. Augur Reach, this increases your ability range. Augur Message, ability duration. And Augur Pact, this is for your pistol and this will give you increased flat damage. If you're curious about the Vigilante set, you have Vigilante Offense, which will give you an increase to punch through with your weapon. Vigilante Supplies, which is a no brainer, man. This is one of the best mods. I, I swear to God, I use Vigilante Supplies on almost every loadout. This is essentially a mutation mod for your ammo. So if you pick up shotgun ammo, it will convert it into your primary weapon ammo. Vigilante Fervor, which increases your fire rate. And if you notice this bar that's underneath right now, with five bars full it's a 25 percent chance to enhance critical hits from primary weapons the more that you stack of these on top of each other the more that bar will grow and it goes up to 30 percent chance and last but not least we'll talk about the gladiator set just a little bit and the gladiator set will increase your critical chance per combo multipliers so that number that you see on the bottom right of your screen when you're swinging your melee and you see two three four five six and it just keeps going and it caps out at 12 unless you're using the vinca prime which caps out at 13 that number say you get all the way up to 12 that is your combo multiplier so so these mods will increase your critical chance as that number grows and these do stack with blood rush which also does the same thing so you can really get up there in the high crit chances upper 200s lower 300s just using gladiator and blood rush together so gladiator might plus 60 percent critical damage and yes this does stack on top of organ shatter on your melee gladiator aegis gives you plus 45 percent armor which does stack with steel fiber gladiator rush plus six seconds of combo duration gladiator vice plus 30 percent attack speed and gladiator finesse drains energy to stop lethal damage with 60 percent efficiency you're free to mix and match any of these gladiator mods. The gladiator set is a must have when it comes to melee heavy builds. So let's go ahead and jump into how to get a lot of these mods, how to stack up on these things, whether you want to sell them, gift them to your friends, whatever. The first place you want to go to is either Cetus or Plains of Eidolon. I'm just going to jump straight into Plains of Eidolon. So once you spawn in the Plains of Eidolon, what you want to do is you want to find yourself a tent and always right over here to the right side of the entryway, there is a tent right over here. You can always see them with this orange kind of flag on the top and this little icon that'll pop up whether you're looking at your map or you get close enough to the tent. Inside is a console and it'll say contact Konzu, which is the person that gives you your bounties when you're inside of Cetus. First thing to notice is up here at the very top, it says one hour, 25 minutes and 34 seconds. This is the amount of time until these bounties rotate. So starting at tier three bounties you can see these little notches down here on the bottom, three of these filled up. So this is what 
I would call a tier three. Down here is a tier four and all five are filled over here. These are tier fives and a steel path over here on the end. In the drop table, it shows you Augur Pack, Vigilante Fervor, and Gladiator Vice. In the tier four bounty, there's Augur Message, Vigilante Pursuit, and gladiator finesse so that's one sure shot way to just go ahead and do a couple bounties see if you can get lucky see if you can get an auger vigilante or gladiator set mod that you've been looking for however there is a different way and it's a little bit more fun depending on what you want to do the tusk thumpers of the plains of eidolon they look like these big robotic turtles that can leap and jump and bite you in the ass if you're not careful these will randomly spawn throughout plains of eidolon only one will spawn at a time and the current plains of eidolon level will determine which one you get so regular tusk thumpers and thumper bulls will spawn if the level is 40 and below and everything that you see on screen right now is what they have a chance to drop at a 1.88 percent chance and that might seem really really small like a really slim chance but trust me i would say out of every five that i kill i at least get one of these mods it might not be one i'm looking for but we do get a mod drop now if you've chosen a level five bounty you will spawn a thumper doma and they actually have a slightly different drop table so if we take out the target acquired mod and throw in spring loaded blade which is similar to the berserker fury but instead of increasing attack speed per kill it increases your melee range per kill everything you see on screen right now is what the thumper doma has a chance of dropping at a 1.88 percent chance as i said earlier the thumpers level does depend on the current bounty level if you just go from cetus don't even pick a bounty and come straight into plains of eidolon you will not get a thumper doma because it is base level i think they're like level 10 or something by default in plains of eidolon to kill these thumpers what you'll want to do if you haven't killed one is you'll notice they have four legs and on those legs i would guess you call them their knees they have little shields you want to shoot those shields off and reveal this yellowish orange light that is on their knees once you reveal this yellow light you want to just rain bullets into that kneecap until it closes off you'll notice the light shuts off the thumper will do its best to protect itself so the more of you that you have on your team even if it's just two it is a lot better because you can put one of you behind him and one of you in front of him and there is no way that he can constantly hide both sides of his body but he will try and get away he'll try and jump he'll try and run and he will spin his leg to avoid taking damage so ladies and gentlemen that is the end of this video i hope this video helped you y'all get out there defeat those thumpers do some cetus bounties and get yourself some of these auger gladiator vigilante set mods i appreciate y'all and all the support man y'all have a good rest of your week Let's start this Monday off with a bang, baby. I'm out of here. Peace.